Welcome back to another Senior CrossFit video. My name is Chandler, this is Kira. We're going to be coaching you today. Uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is our warm up. So Kira's gonna demonstrate the movements that we're gonna be doing today. It is gonna be a three minute AMRAP. So an AMRAP is as many reps or rounds as possible. Um, Kira's gonna demonstrate the first movement for us, which is gonna be a good morning. We have done this before. So you're gonna put the PVC pipe, broomstick, Swiffer behind your back and you're going to lean forward, dropping your hips back and slightly bending your knees while keeping your chin up. Really focus on keeping a flat back. And you really should be feeling this. We don't want it to round out like that. That's not what we're looking for. Flat back, everything is nice and tight. And you really should be feeling it in your hamstrings. That's the goal of the warm up of this workout. So we're gonna be doing five of those and then we're gonna move on to five shoulder circles. So we're gonna go ahead and do five of those backwards and then five of those forward. And then we're gonna end it with five air squats. So here's gonna demonstrate, remember feet hip width apart, toes slightly turned out, keeping that chest up, staying in our heels and pushing those knees out. If you need to, Modify, please do a half squat. Or if you need to go into a chair or need something under you, please have a couch there for stability just in case. So again, this is a three minute AMRAP. So for three minutes, you're gonna keep repeating those movements, um, keeping track of your round just to see how many you get. Five good mornings, five shoulder circles forward and backwards, and then five air squats. Feel free to pause the video and come back to us when you're ready to move on to the stretching portion. Once you finish up with that warm up, we're gonna move on to the stretching portion. So Kira's gonna demonstrate for us. First thing that we're gonna be doing is arms behind the back, interlacing the fingers, and then we're gonna straighten our arms out so that we're really getting a stretch in the chest and the shoulders. So we're gonna hold that for about 10 to 15 seconds. And then after we're done with that, we're gonna move on to a seated hamstring stretch to find a chair or a couch. You're gonna start with one leg forward straight, flexing that front foot. You're gonna lean forward as far as you can. Kira's able to grab her toes if you're able to do that. You can pull your toes back for you for a deeper stretch. If not, you can just lean forward to your shin or to your knee, however deep you can go. Hold that for about 10 to 15 seconds each leg. And then the last movement that we're gonna do are ankle circles. So lift one leg up off the ground, roll five times to the right, and then roll five times to the left, and then switch legs five times to the right, five times to the left. If you want to, you can repeat that through one more time just to get a little bit more of a warm up. Uh, once you're done with those movements, come back to our video and we'll move on to the workout of the day. Once you're done with those stretching movements, we're gonna move on to the workout. And today we're gonna be doing an eight minute EMOM. So that is every minute on the minute. We're gonna start with five deadlifts and eight step ups. So that's gonna be the base movement. I'm gonna have her show those two and then we actually have an added portion for those who this is too easy for possibly. So the deadlift, remember, we're gonna start at mid shin, keeping that back tight and straight. If going down to your shin is too difficult for you, um, you can go to the top of the knee and then back up if that feels a little bit safer for you on your back. And we're gonna move on to the eight step ups. So find a sturdy box or uh, stairs or something that you can step up onto for this movement. So we're gonna do eight of those. If you're able to finish the five deadlifts and the eight step ups within a 30 second time frame, I want you to add on three push ups as well into this movement. She's gonna show an RX push up. So this is the hardest version of the movement. So she's dropping her chest to the floor. She's keeping her abs tight. Her elbows are coming out at a 45 degree angle. If that's too difficult, you can drop to your knees and do the same movement, or you can do it on a wall or on a table. We've shown the modifications in previous videos before. But again, we only want you to add the three push-ups in if you are finishing at or before the 30 second mark to add more difficulty into the workout for you. So again, it's gonna be eight minutes, five deadlifts, eight step ups, 
and then the three added push-ups if you're finishing at the 30 second mark. Once you're done with that, feel free to come back to us and we'll do our accessory and cool down movements. Once you finished up with that workout, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our accessory and cool down movements. The first one that we're gonna do is we're gonna have Kira get a wide stance, put her arms behind her back and then arch back, bringing her head back safely, making sure that um, this isn't painful or that you're not losing your balance in any way. The next move we're gonna do is a seated glute stretch. So we're gonna have Kira put her ankle over her knee and then lean forward, really stretching out the glute and the hamstrings right here. Hold this for about 10 to 15 seconds on one side and then switch crossing the opposite leg over the opposite knee, leaning forward. After you're done with that, you're gonna move on to a knee to chest stretch. So we're gonna do this seated. Make sure that you're sitting up tall. Bring that knee in as close as you can. If you can touch your chest, that's great. If it doesn't go all the way up to your chest, that's completely fine, just as far as you can go to where it's not painful, but you do feel that stretch. Once we're done with that, uh, we're gonna move on to our accessory movement, which is gonna be the sit to stand wood chop. So we have done this before back, I think it was day three. So today we're gonna to try to make it a little more difficult. If the last time was a little bit easy for you or if it feels easy today, add some weight in if you can. So we're gonna start with the ball on the opposite leg and then bring it to the opposite side of our body, up top, and then sit back into the chair. So we're gonna do four on this side and then switch to the other leg and then bring it to the opposite side of the body, up top, and we're gonna do four on that way or on that side. Again, if you can add weight, please do so. A light dumbbell or even just like a basketball or something um, that's more than just your body weight, just to increase the difficulty a little bit more. We're gonna do three sets of that, so three sets of four on each side. 